So, we've covered the simple aspects of understanding UE4's interface, settings, assets, and classes, and we've looked at the content that comes with it. Let's now move on to materials. We'll go into the tutorial series folder that we created earlier. Right click, material. I'll just call this tutorial mat. Double click on it to open it, and you'll be presented with the material editor. Now, first of all, you'll see we have a preview of what the material will look like over here. We can change it to a different mesh or a custom one. We can uh, turn off real time. So if you have a, a, a material that changes, uh, for instance, if we open the level uh, starter map, for instance, this material, it changes over time. You can see it co changes color and pulses. Well, these materials that move, then real time will either ha let them move in here or it will freeze the image. We can see down here, these are all the different settings for our material. Uh, I'm not going to cover these in this tutorial. We have different uh, viewing settings up here. We have a list of all the different types of nodes that you can put in. There's a lot of them. But in this tutorial, we're just going to create a simple texture. So we just want to right click and go texture. 2D or texture and you'll see down here we have texture object we have all these different texture things we just want to get texture sample and you can see down here on the left we now have the information the details panel we have the information for this for this node so the texture I'm just gonna do a rock texture I'm gonna go basalt D which means diffuse we put it up here you look here, it's still black. There is no difference in this at all. But if we plug this into base color, then you'll see that if we, there you go, now we have a rock texture. But this doesn't look like a rock at all, does it? It looks, it looks very simple. It, it's just, it's just flat. If we put this on cube, it's it's just flat. There's there's no. It, it doesn't look like it's real. So you can see base color. That's obviously the color. What we can do, you can see there's a normal here. If we click on this, if we right click and duplicate, and then pull down here, then we have another texture sample. But we don't want T rock. We want T rock basalt N. That the N stands for normal map. So if we now drag this in you'll all of a sudden see look at that there is now texture it looks like it's actually rock a bit it looks like it's wet rock but it looks like a rock you can see it actually looks like it's there like it's coming out at you so now you can it looks like a rock but it looks like wet rock and um we at the moment all we do we we just change how it, how the bumpiness looks and how the texture looks but what if we don't want, re want re wet rock? So the thing that's making this look wet is the specular and the roughness. So if we right click, or in fact just hold down one and click here, yet just an, just to float, which is a number that can have decimals. So if we put this into specular, you'll see all of a sudden. Look at that! It's there's no it doesn't look wet anymore. It just looks well, really, really dry. So the specular here, specular controls how reflective this material is. And then we have metallic. So if I just hold down one again, metallic obviously controls how metallic it looks. So if we have it on zero, it looks exactly the same as it just did because metallic defaults to zero, but specular defaults to one. But if we turn metallic up to one, And look at that! All of a sudden, we have a very different looking material. It looks like it looks like metal. You can't even tell that it looks like a rock anymore. It just looks like metal. But we don't want it to look like metal. 
So we just want to put it on one. Zero. You'll usually never have anything between zero and one. It'll just be zero and one. So then we have roughness. Now roughness, if we hold down one and click again, roughness is obviously how rough it is. So if we drag this in and this turn to one on one, so let's just get rid of that. If we drag zero in, you can see it looks the same as it just did. If we put this on one, it looks the same as it just did. But if we put metallic on one, You'll see it gets darker, but it doesn't look like metal, it just looks darker. That's because the roughness obviously controls how rough, how much metallicness to put and how much specular to put in places. So we could, if we had an actual texture for roughness, instead of just um, vector ones or, or floats, then we could actually control which parts of this we want to look like metal and which parts we don't. But at this point in time, because it's rock, we're just going to leave metallic and specular on zero, and we'll put roughness on one. So that concludes this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will go over over more complex materials, including material parameters. So please, if you want to learn more about UE4, join me next time.